Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? I feel like you're not supposed to wear white when you have a white background or like a very basic neutral background, but here I am. In today's video, y'all, I'm going to be talking about why I came to Florida. Um, I don't know why I'm so emotional in this video. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to cry or something. I'm not going to, but I just feel like I have something in my throat. Anywho, I realized that when I posted my vlog of me coming to Florida that a lot of people were confused and concerned of why I left. Um, I'm going to address everything that I can possibly think of to give you guys answers, and hopefully this video helps you. This video is going to be more critical. Um, sorry if you don't like it. Sorry if you dislike it. It's my personal opinion, so it's not really... I mean, the truth, it's my truth, it doesn't have to be your truth, that's all I'm saying. So yeah, when I posted my vlog and I started going through the comments, people were like, oh my gosh, why are you going back to Florida when you just got to Germany and you made such a big deal about it and why are you leaving? And then I was thinking to myself, okay, this was my fault, I didn't put enough information telling you guys how long I was staying, where I was staying, why I was staying, why I was going. So yeah, I'm only in Florida for I think five weeks four, five, six, um, somewhere around there. I'm here for a few weeks. Um, there are like a few reasons why I'm here. The first one is to visit my family. As most of you guys know, born and raised Floridian, which means most of my family and friends live in Florida. And I promised myself after, I think it was 2015, no, 2016, 2017, I went a year and a half without seeing my family and it was one of the hardest things for me to do and I realized that it wasn't smart and I realized that hey I need to like see my family more often and so I knew I was coming in 2021 I just didn't know when I actually was planning on coming like June to August type month area <laughs> place um but then I was like you know what it's getting really bad in Germany um and it's really cold in Germany it's really nasty in Germany so I'm just gonna leave a little bit earlier and scratch off the July August whenever I was going in the summertime visit I promised myself though that if I had the resources which means just money if I have the monetary ability financial ability to come visit my family at least twice a year I will but the bare minimum for me is once a year because every time I come back after being gone for a year everything's changed everybody's different my little brother is like a bean sprout or whatever the heck it is a tree he grows so much and I'm like I'm missing so many humongous milestones that I don't have to miss the next reason which was pretty obvious was that I wanted to get a vaccine so hear me out in my head because a lot of people were asking why would you get a flower to get a vaccine in my head this is the logic that i had maybe you guys understand it maybe you don't but i was thinking in germany they're having issues with vaccinations and you know people are waiting there's a long list what if i just leave earlier get my vaccine in Florida, come back to Germany, and that leaves a spot open for someone in Germany. Like the shortage, I guess, gets less. I know I'm just one person, but I was thinking in my head, if every expat that had the ability to do this did this, maybe it would speed things up a little bit. But not everybody has the ability to do this, but I was just thinking in my head, it would be a smart decision. In the United States, I think every United States citizen or resident alien I think has the ability to get vaccinated for free so I was just like yes please I will do it and also because in Germany you're able or you will be able to live a semi-normal life hopefully in the future if you are tested negative or have a vaccination card so I'm just hoping that you know when I return that you will slowly be able to start living a normal life again. Not normal that we know, let's say in 2019, but normal that we know in 2021 moving forward. The next points, which I'm going to just mix them all together, are going to be a little personal, and these are gonna make me the most emotional of this video um, because it's very critical and it's very negative, and I hate saying negative stuff about Germany, but I feel like this needs to be said because there are a lot of people that are dealing with this as well, and it's not really pinpointed at one specific person or one specific group, but I just feel like all together, Germany's in a very negative place. Um, German people are in a negative place, the German, I don't know if the economy is in a negative place, I mean certain parts of the economy are in a negative place, and please don't take this because then I know when I say stuff like this, people say, but in the United States, I'm not talking about the United States, and I've complained many times about the United States, I'm specifically and explicitly talking about Germany right now, and just the experience that I've had, I guess, since September 
of being there. Um, I will tell you two incidents that have happened, you know, leading up to me purchasing my ticket because I technically purchased my ticket four days before I came to Florida because I was honestly on the fence about it, but then these two things just pushed me over the edge and I'm like, I don't have to freaking be here. Um, I don't have to deal with this stuff. I don't have to deal with this crap anymore. I can go home and be in the United States and deal with negative people there with sunshine at least and not in the cold ass rain. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what happened, but I was walking, um, you know, going, I don't remember where I was going. I think I was going to the S-Bahn for something. And there was this lady outside her house in my neighborhood and she was washing the sidewalk, which made no sense because it was about to rain and I have no idea. She was an older German lady. And while she was closing down the sidewalk, it was the only sidewalk that you can walk on. I'm not gonna walk on the street. Um, if there's a sidewalk available because it's also a bad image for children. I live in a neighborhood with a bunch of children. I'm like, I'm not gonna rock in the middle of the street. So usually when that happens, you know, when you're hosing something down and someone's walking through the like hosed area, you stop spraying water. <laughs> like that's common sense. But the lady did not stop spraying water. Um, and she sprayed like my feet and my jeans while I was walking by. And I was pissed. My shoes were wet, my socks were wet, my feet were wet, my jeans were wet, and I was relatively pissed. Like my cheeks were turning red, my chest was turning red, like it was getting hard. I wanted to say like, screw you lady, but I didn't say anything. I just looked at her. And the lady said, was willst du? And I was like, I, I know that I'm not wrong. Like I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. But I just said, you sprayed me with water. Like, lady, you need to watch out when people are around you um, in this environment. You know, usually when someone walks by, you stop spraying and all that good stuff. And I was like, pass mal auf. And so her response to that was like, Something along the lines of, du bist ein Neger, you need to go back to Africa, Germany's tired of people like you, um, you refugee immigrant, um, lern gescheites Deutsch, I don't know what the heck it was. Basically, um, insult, 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 insult about me being an immigrant and all this good stuff. And I was just like, I wanted to punch this old lady, but then if I get in trouble, <laughs> um, I'm going to be the angry brown girl, the angry immigrant that attacked an old lady for no apparent reason. Because if I said, hey, she sprayed me with water, they're gonna say, no, she didn't. I'm like, yes, she did. Why would she spray you with water? It's raining outside, there's a hose. So me, I was livid. Like, that was like, <laughs> I was pissed. I was like, this cannot be true. So yeah, a few days later, you know, mind that, I was pissed off. It ruined my day, ruined my week, week, my few days leading to me going to the United States. That was a week before I came to the United States. Um, I think a few days later, the same day, I don't even remember, and I'm glad that my friend was with me, Jonathan, hello, um, because a lot of times when these things happen to me and I tell them on the internet, no one ever believes me. And I'm so glad there was someone there to witness this because I did nothing wrong, he did nothing wrong, and this lady was just bothering us and harassing us. So we were at this corona test place. I needed to get a test. Um, and this was the first ever corona test that I've ever taken in Germany. And it was unorganized, 1000% unorganized. They had like the system, um, you had to go on the website, they had a horrible line, they didn't check in people properly, you had to have a code, but the code wasn't working on the website, like everybody was having this issue. So basically we had to stand in this unorganized line, but there were little dots for all of us to stand in a line. But everyone is upset because we all had appointments, but the appointments weren't happening, so I waited there for like 45 minutes, everybody was, it was just, horrible so everyone was already in a bad mood and like up to here so my friend and I were talking just having a normal conversation you know how are you doing what are you doing let's have fun let's make the best out of this as we possibly can and this old lady came behind us um, she was huffing and puffing that she had an appointment um, and all of a sudden we're like we all have tamine like it's uh, we're all waiting here we're all suffering and so we're talking and out of nowhere she comes up behind us and she's like well can you guys move and we're like, where do you want us to go? And it's like the typical older German individuals like in the line that don't know how to properly wait in a line. And she was just like, well, I don't want to be so close to the people behind us. And we're just looking at her like, ma'am, we're standing where we're supposed to, like we literally have a circle. And she told us to stand on this circle. And she's like, yeah, but I don't care. Could you please move up? Because I don't want to stand next to the people behind me. And we're like, okay. So we just ignored it because we're just like, 
maybe something's wrong with her, but she seemed like a fit woman. So we're like, okay. So then we're talking more and she comes again. So you guys aren't gonna move for me. And we're like, no. And she's like, well, I need you to get out of the way. Like speaking to us, like we're not human. Like we're, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Just like being so nasty. And then my friend, he was like, if you don't want us standing near you and you don't want the other people standing near you, maybe you should have stayed home or maybe you need to get out of the line. He's like, but we're standing where we're supposed to be standing and if you don't like it, you can leave and we're not going to move. And then she shut up and left us alone. And that was just like the nail in the coffin because so many people in Germany have been so negative so nasty, so disgusting. I've never met so many people in Germany that have been so mean, hateful. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can like describe the people as, but everyone's in such a bad funk. And I understand why people are in a bad funk. You have to understand that people have been on lockdown and lockdown for months. A lot of people are not making the same amount of money that they've made before. A lot of people are stuck at home with their kids all the time. A lot of people are stressed. A lot of people have lost their existence. You know, the list goes on of how many bad things are happening. People are having issues of not socializing. And so I understand why people are, I guess, not dealing with this in a good manner but a lot of people are taking their anger out on certain groups of people, I feel like. I feel like people, you know, when they get upset about someone, usually in Germany it's like, hey, don't be an asshole, don't be ignorant. But, you know, over the past six to seven months, I've had people say stuff like the N-word to me, or go back to Africa, um, or you're an immigrant. And I'm just like, I don't have to deal with this if I don't need to. Like, there's no legitimate reason for me to stay in Germany right now, um, to be called these things, or for people to treat me in, in a shitty manner. I really don't have to be. Financially, I can fly to Florida. I have family here. Um, people in the United States aren't going to tell me to go back to wherever they may, but then I say, I'm an American. In Germany, I can't say, hey, I'm a German. You know I'm not German. And that just gives like fuel to the fire for people to be hateful. And in the United States, I like that people are very fake right now because I don't need to constantly be reminded by everyone else in my surrounding that their lives are shitty and since their lives are shitty my life has to be shitty too and that's a very big German flaw. Um, it's a jealousy issue, a night issue, German people they talk about this so it's not like something I'm saying out of my ass. This is pretty normal and common for people to talk about. I was on my friend's Facebook profile the other day and he was talking about how he lost his job not his job his business he owned a business and he lost it and the people underneath it were not like oh my gosh I'm so sorry for you that sucks no it was um what were they saying yeah but I'm in Kurzarbeit I can't afford what you're selling so you know if you lost your business sucks for you but we can't afford anything and I'm just like so because you're miserable and your life is not okay, it's okay for someone's el someone else's life to be failing and miserable. Like it, it makes no sense to me how people are attacking one another and being so mean to one another, um, you know, in their daily life. I totally get it, like I said, but it's just like one of those things where I don't have to be there through this right now. I feel like it's a very stressful year because it's also a voting year and I feel like also on top of that it's the same in the United States. The United States right now is a totally different, like I can tell you 1000%, it's a totally different United States than one year ago. I made a video one year ago, you guys know the video of me like very stressed, very unhappy about the United States um, and it was because of just the situation, you know, the politics, the people, you know, how divided it was. Right now it's not the same place as it was one year ago. I can honestly say it's a lot calmer, it's a lot nicer. Are there still rude people here? Yes. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like so much divisiveness as I do or did in Germany a month ago. And I'm one of those people that I, I thrive on other people's energy. I thrive on social settings. You know, I'm like an introverted extrovert. I love to be in the middle of a crowd. I love to be, you know, the person standing right in the middle of everything happening. 
um, but I don't need to be the person that's talking. I just like having, you know, everyone around me saying stuff, everyone having a good time, and I'm not getting that right now in Germany, and I'm getting that in the United States. I'll be fine going back to Germany now and having six months of lockdown again. And maybe for some people it's a good thing, and some people are saying, oh, you're over dramatic, you know, um, you're being very prissy, you're being all this. That may be true, but that's how I am as an individual. Um, that's how I function as a person. There are people that hate interaction with other people, and I totally get that as well. Um, but I'm not one of those people. But yeah, those are all the reasons. When this video goes up, I'll actually be back in the United States. I mean, it won't be soon. It'll be a few more weeks. But I've gotten like the first half of my visit done. So like I said, it's not too bad. Um, I'm not gone too long. You know, I'm, I'm just hoping that this month five weeks i don't know how long i'm here you guys i really don't know i just put in dates in the um, flight the cheapest ticket that i could find here and there and back and those are the dates that i picked but i'm just hoping that when i get back to germany this will give me the energy this trip will give me the energy to get through everything and that these small little things won't hurt me as much as they did in the past i think that i was just very sensitive because of everything that was happening in germany i like i said i think it was lockdown you know not being able to go out to eat not being able to socialize not being able to go to the gym not being able to do all these things um made me very sensitive to how people were reacting and speaking to me and being mean towards me it made me re react in a different um, manner than i usually do and so i'm hoping that now with this little vacation, this vaccination, -ation, <laughs> vaccination vacation, that I will be in a much better mental place than I was, let's say, a month or two ago. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm hoping that this video goes up tomorrow. I don't know if it will, because I'm probably going to go to sleep right now. So yeah, love you guys. Have a wonderful day, and bye. <laughs>